Hello and welcome to another episode of The Sit Rep. I am Marine Corps veteran Paul Corbett and a topic that tons of you out there have emailed us about is how does VA calculate your percentage of service-connected disability or what many refer to as VA math. We're going to break it down Barney style and with a very simple process to follow. But first, do me a favor and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes and you can help us reach as many veterans as possible. So, VA math. How is it that hypothetically a veteran can receive 40% for their back, 30% for their knee, and 20% for hearing loss, which all adds up to 90%, but VA awards you with 70% service-connected disability instead? The answer isn't really that difficult to figure out. When calculating disability, you want to first begin with the largest and work down to the smallest as seen on the screen. Starting with the back, we are going to take 100%, which is the current remainder, and will make more sense in a minute, and subtract the sum of 100% times 40%. It is important that we remember order of operations, where we calculate what is in the parentheses first, which equals 40%. We then subtract that from 100%, and we end up with a remainder of 60%. Now with the knee, we want to start with the remainder, which is 60%. So much like the equation above, 60% minus the sum of 60% times 30%, which is 18%, equals a remainder of 42%. We continue this process for hearing. We begin with the remainder from the previous line. So we have 42% minus the sum of 42% times 20%, which is 8.4% and gives us a remainder of 33.6%. Now that we have calculated each one of our disabilities, we want to subtract the remainder from 100%, which would be 100% minus 33.6% equals 66.4%. However, VA always rounds to the nearest 10. So in this case, your disability rating would be rounded up to 70%. This is important to keep in mind though. Yes, you are rated at 70% disability, but your actual rating is 66.4%. Say you later receive a 10% rating for your shoulder. The current remainder is 33.6%. And when you follow the same process as the other disabilities we calculated, you end up with the exact same disability rating as before. So remember, just because you are awarded new or slightly higher percentages of disability, it does not mean that your rating will change. It may stay the same. One last thing. There are special circumstances where a veteran's disability may be calculated completely differently, such as the case with veterans who are permanently disabled, have bilateral injuries, or other circumstances. To learn more about this topic, look for links in the video description below and more importantly, be sure to check out all of our YouTube playlists that cover VA disability, pensions, healthcare, home loans, and much more. You have questions about your VA benefits, and the SIT Rep has the answers. Visit any of our four YouTube playlists that specifically cover VA healthcare, VA disability, VA home loans, and specialty topics. Choose from any of our playlists and connect with the benefits you earned and deserve.